Hi, this is Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is about how to do a compression test on KTM two-stroke or actually on any two-stroke. They all use the same testing procedure. This is a KTM 300. It's my mule. And this test does not apply to any modern four-strokes. Any, any of the modern four-strokes have a decompression device on the camshaft which lowers the compression during kicking and cranking speeds. So they will give you a totally false test. They'll give you a really low reading. On four strokes, you have to do what's called a leak down test. That requires totally different equipment. And it's a totally different procedure. This is about two stroke compression tests. First of all, start off with good equipment. Cheap equipment will give you a false test. It's a waste of your money and your time. Don't do it. Either buy good equipment, borrow it, rent it, whatever you have to do, or take it somewhere to have it done. But don't go buy a cheap gauge. Matco, Mac, Snap-on, all have good gauges. There's, I'm sure there's some other ones out there that I'm not aware of. But the good compression gauges run two to three hundred dollars. They usually come with these adapter hoses for different size spark plugs. And so the first thing you have to do is make sure that you have the correct adapter. And almost all modern two-strokes use an E-series spark plug. When I say E, right after the number is the letter E. So this spark plug is a BR7EIX, like BR7ES, BR8, 9. If they have an E after the letter, that's a three-quarter inch plug. So three-quarter inch means that this threaded area is three-quarters of an inch long. So you have to have the matching length of threaded area on your adapter. I've already got it in the engine. This is a half inch one here. If you use a half inch in the hole there, in the head, then it's going to have, uh, the head's going to have more volume at that point, and the compression rate is going to be low. So have the right equipment. After that, hopefully you've already removed the tank and seat. And then remove the spark plug and screw it into the head. And then here's where the adapter plugs into the gauge. And I usually set the gauge up here on the handlebars. And you have somebody hold it for you. But be careful with these expensive gauges. You don't want to be kicking the bike and have it fall off and bang on the floor because that ruins the gauge. So the test procedure. Uh, first I should back up. So what numbers are we looking for? Well, it varies from brand to brand. On a KTM 300, from about, mm, I think, 04 to, to current, they, at sea level, they've got about 165 pounds. Here in Colorado, at 6,000 feet, they've got about 135 pounds. There'd be some variance to that, of course. Um, YZ250 Yamaha two strokes at sea level will bury the gauge, 260, 265 pounds. They've got too much compression. That's why they're so sensitive about fuel. Uh, that's a whole other video. So those are just baselines for numbers. Each bike is different. 250 KTMs, I don't remember that number off the top of my head, but I know it's higher than the than the 300s, but there's also three different models of KTMs, the W, the XC, and then the SX. Each one of them has different compression. XCW has the lowest, XC the next highest, and then the SX the highest. So you can call your dealer, maybe, I don't know, most dealers probably don't know compression numbers. You can email me if you want, I might be able to find the information for you. Do not call, I don't need phone calls about compression. So, after you've got all the proper equipment, you've got it plugged in, then it's down to the procedure. So, hold the kill button down, because you've removed the spark plug from the system while you're doing the test, so there's nothing grounding the system, and the spark's going to try to find a place to jump. And it can try to jump internally in the ignition system and damage it. Somewhat unlikely it will do that, but it's well worth holding the kill button down to make sure it doesn't. Next thing is hold the throttle wide open. Completely wide open. Entire test. 
Next is use the Kickstarter. A lot of guys call me and tell me they use electric starter to do compression tests. I totally disagree with that. That's very damaging to an electric starter system. These starters are very light duty. That's the way they built them. That's the way they intended them to be. And they are not intended to sit there and grind on them to do a compression test. Do not do that. I'm also not convinced on high compression engines that the starter can can get the job done anyhow. On my bike, this bike cranks out 210 pounds. Uh, the starter struggles to, 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 to get anywhere near that. So put a good boot on your on your right foot. Kicking them with a tennis shoe or a street shoe will definitely bruise the bottom of your foot. And you need to kick them hard. So get up on the bike, have the bike on a stand. Get up on the bike, throttle wide open. Hold the kill button down and kick it like you hate it. Don't give it a whoopy ass kick or you'll get very poor results. You've got to kick it like you hate it and kick it until the gauge stops. It might be 20 kicks. I don't know how many it's going to be, but kick it until the gauge completely stops. And kick it hard the entire time. Bring the kick feather all the way up to the top of the stroke each time to where you get a full swing at it. And kick it hard. That's all it takes. That's all for now.